How's it going, guys? It's going good. Hey, this is Nick Starkle. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How did today go? Uh, Chad said you took all your reps with once today. Yeah, yeah, today was good. Uh, it was really good moving the football pretty well. We're still doing a little bit of split field stuff. So we're doing ones and threes and twos and fours. And we've been rotating, I mean, since camp's starting. So it was a good day today. Yeah, the buds on name and starter. Do you, is tomorrow super huge for this? Yeah, I think every scrimmage is big, especially for the quarterback position and just, you know, us being able to feel what it's like to be in a game almost with them. Last scrimmage was a little different, a lot of first downs and you didn't really get a feel for how the offense could work when you get a drive going. But I think tomorrow's going to be really good uh, sense of how we can get our tempo going and everything. I think us in the media and fans are making a big deal out of who's going to start. How do you guys handle it in that room? Uh, it's not really even talked about in the room. Um, we've been rotating, same rotation since uh, day one. And we know, you know, coaches evaluating everything we do. And so we've just been on our toes and just, you know, been attacking everything. You guys both expect to play in the opener? Um, I don't really know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it's, it's on the coaches. That's their decision. Was today the first day you got all reps with Warren? No, no, it wasn't. We've been splitting. Every day has been different. You know, he'll go with them Monday. I'll go Tuesday. He's Wednesday. I'm Thursday. It's just every day we've been switching the whole camp. The chance that you had moved the ball six inches, how do you feel like you've performed in those? I feel like I've done pretty well in those. Uh, I feel like they've done actually very well. Um, that's where I think I thrive the most is being able to keep the offense going, up-tempo, um, keep the drive going, really. The receiving court is a little bit dinged up right now. Does it feel a little bit different the last couple of days? Um, we're still doing split fields, and so you can definitely sense that the guys are a little more tired, obviously not having as many pure numbers out there. But we have guys stepping up, making plays left and right. Um, I mean, from TQ to Traylon Burks to Trey Knox, Mike Woods, Devion, all those guys, I mean, they're really stepping up. And it's great to see them, the older guys, bring those younger guys up and say, hey, look, it's your time now. So that's really encouraging. Nick, is there any specific area that you really focused on in camp that you felt like you needed to brush up to, in order to compete for the starting job? Uh, definitely my timing. Uh, I felt like I needed to work on my timing and my footwork, mainly my foot placement, being able to you know, go from handing the ball off to if I pull it, being able to pull up and have my feet set already to throw. Uh, that's been the biggest thing for me is really just footwork and knowing where to put my feet, you know, how to not get stepped on by running back you know, when they're taking their tracks and stuff like that. And I think that I've done a good job progressing in that so far through camp. Coach Morris said that you've caught up with the playbook pretty much. Uh, what do you feel like you guys are excelling at right now, running the running game or the passing game more? I mean, I'm a quarterback, so I'm going to say we're better at passing. But obviously we have two, three, shoot, four or five really good running backs uh, that can make some plays for us. And so... I think that we're going to be a pretty balanced team. We're going to definitely have those threats that we can throw the ball down the field with, and we'll be able to run the ball as well. Have you applied any Portland State uh, scouting into practice yet? Uh, we have done a little bit of Portland State. Uh, a lot of the end of the fall camp is really where we get into game prep. So we've been prepping for both Portland State and uh, Ole Miss as well. It's usually what teams do. What do they do? What do they run? Uh, Portland State? Yeah. Uh, they run a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of untraditional stuff, bear fronts. You guys probably don't know what that means. But yeah, they're on a bare front, a lot of man coverage, so we're looking to throw the ball a lot that game. What, what is a bare front? <laughs> a, bare, a, bare. a bare front is where the center and the two guards are covered, and then there's stand up or just true ends on the outside. So it's a five man front. Pretty much it's big on big, and they're playing man behind it. So you know what they're doing every time. How, and, do, you, uh, how do you think the progression of the offensive line has been, especially with some movement, with some injuries? Offensive line has definitely picked it up. Uh, you know, they you know, had a little chip on their shoulder going into fall camp, and they knew that was an area that they you know, could step up, especially pass protection. And they have definitely answered that call to action. Um, they've been terrific in these scrimmages, giving us enough time to throw the ball. And I see that going well into the season. What have you seen from the defense as you go against them every day in practice? Yeah, our defense, uh, they got a lot of fast players. Uh, Scooter Harris leading that defense. He's not just a really intelligent player. He's super fast as well. He can make plays left and right. He knows where the football is going. And the thing about Coach Chavis's defense is that with a middle linebacker like that, you can kind of free range and make plays um, pretty much in all the defenses that he's had. He's had a Mike linebacker that's probably had two or three picks, a couple maybe pick sixes in a year. And that's just freedom that he gets in that defense. And so he's been making a lot of plays over there and making it pretty hard for us to throw across the middle. How big is it for you to have guys like Knox and Burks and guys that can go up and get it in, in this offense 
Oh, it's huge. Uh, you know, we're installing those plays and can't give too much away, but we're definitely going to be forcing the ball down the field. Not forcing the ball. We're going to be throwing the ball down the field this year. We got guys that are going to go up and make the plays as well. How much has it helped you having a guy like Ben who kind of knew the offense already to bounce stuff off of and then to compete with that on the field? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's good. Uh, he's been in the offense and, and he knows it and I feel like I know it and I've been learning this offense since May and so I, I had coaches teach me the offense and you know, we got coaches here for a reason, but it is good to have another person who has been on the field and uh, can kind of give you a little bit of the ins and outs that maybe the coaches aren't communicating clearly enough. How much did the so-called volunteer workouts help in, you know, just incorporating yourself with the team and stuff? All right, the player-led workouts. Those are awesome, and that really just got us going off on the right foot. We realized what we needed to work on quickly out there in the summer because we're going against our defense every day, whether it's seven-on-seven seven or just – no pads, team versus team, and we can see exactly what we need to work on, and uh, th those are really so helpful. I mean, that's that's like having a whole season in the off season, really. Was that something you focused on coming in later? You know, you, you want the team behind you to get to, to get to know the guys, but you know, as a quarterback, it's important to have that. Right, definitely. And it, I'm bad with names, so it took me a while to try to learn everybody's name. Um, but first names that I tried to learn was the O line, because you got they got to have your back first, and. Uh, no matter what, they got to have your back. So I was definitely learning all those guys' names and getting a connection with them so that they can trust me and I can trust them. You've, uh, you've been in quarterback battles, I guess, every year of your career. So is this, this is nothing new for you? Any anxiety with that? Uh, no anxiety at all, really. I mean, it's all going to play out. Uh, I believe that, you know, whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. And it's just a game of football. There's always a quarterback competition unless you're – in the league, and you're like Tom Brady. But even even they're still competing, but it's just a little different. As a competitor, would you rather have somebody always there for <coughs> you or an unquestioned starter type of, of role? I think that in the offseason, it's always good to have someone that you're competing against the whole time. But during the season, I think you got to, you know, have that confidence as a starter and not have to worry, you know, week to week. I, I've seen it both ways, though. And I want to be a coach one day. And, and as a player, I just feel like I have more confidence whenever it's not a you know, you don't know if you're starting until the day before the game every week. Now, I understand the first game is a little different because, you know, you don't know who your starter is yet. But uh, week to week, I don't, I don't like that really every week kind of question mark. Did you hear Warren's comment last week about how you have no neck? Kind of yeah, I think my pads just are up a little bit too high maybe. I don't know. Jack Lindsay and I have the same pads, and somehow he looks different in them than I do. That's, <laughs> Uh, he probably called me Stretch. I don't know. I don't listen. I don't listen to any of that. He's over at my house every day, though, and he's been actually working really hard. Um, comes over to my house after every practice, and we'll watch all the practice film, and we'll watch some game film, stuff like that. And just, you know, he's asking me, "Hey, what do I need to be to, you know, to be a guy that you trust?" And we've just been working on that every day. Two more. Did any of the receivers talk about the difference in quarterback play, like where the quarterback situation was last year compared to, to now? Have they talked about it? Yeah, with you or. With uh, you? As a team uh, in general, we've just talked about how we're in a lot better situation this year. And we know that that was Coach Morris's goal this offseason was to go out and get guys to put us in a better situation. And so that's definitely happened, and everybody's taken notice of that. Um, you can definitely just hear that from really the defensive side of the ball, talking about it. You know, they're like, well, shoot, we got guys that will throw it deep this year that will throw it over our head and that are going to make smart plays. And so that's, uh, you know, it's really big to have a defense that trusts you like that. We've talked to you about it before, but just how mobile do you think you can be in this offense, and what have you been able to show in camp? I think I can be mobile enough. <laughs> no, I mean, like if you need to and, and just the yeah. ability to, to take off. Yeah, no, if I have to. I, I think I will definitely. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Go Hawks.